Hi, my name is Miliana and I'm a junior and you're watching TMA. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day. Me neither. The prompter's working, the camera's not tilted, even the Wi-Fi is up. Finally, we have a show free of technical issues. Ben! Ben, where are you? Oh, great. The lights went out. We can't shoot a show like this. Mr. Ballas, is that you? It's obviously still me, Ben. I'm sitting right next to you. But wait a minute, Griffin, when was the studio made? I don't know, the 90s? Aha! It's the clapper. Oh! Hello Titans, I'm Griffin Magnus. And I'm Ben Del Negro. It's Thursday, January 12th, and you're watching TMA. I'm glad we fixed that whole light problem. I'm sure the establishment that clapping turns on and off the lights won't come into play later in the show. Why would you say it like that? I don't know. Announcements, announcements, announcements? Announcements. Already planning for what the heck you're going to do after the end of the school year? Well, here's an opportunity for you. Come on a trip to Costa Rica and Panama this June with Miss Kiak. You'll be able to go white water rafting, zip lining, kayaking, and even visit a monkey sanctuary. If you want to ride a kayak with Kiak, then act fast. There are only five spots left. To register, use the link in the description. And if you have any questions, you can email Ms. Kiak at this email. But hey, before you start planning your summer, make sure to take care of those SFA applications, seniors. The deadline is in three weeks. If you need some help with those forms or just have a question, stop on by the College and Career Center during lunch next Wednesday for a Q&A session. Additionally, after school on that same Wednesday, the SFA will be holding an application station to support students completing their forms. That's pretty fun to say. Application station, application station, application station. I feel like I'm in a Schoolhouse Rock video. Anyways, you can submit your SFA application here. Here. Happy birthday to advanced TV media production student Chris Diaz Portillo, who is turning 16 tomorrow. Hope it's a good day. No, a great day. But unfortunately, Chris, we can't give you the gift of TMA for your B-Day, as there will be no episode of TMA on Friday, January 13th. Wah, wah. But also, due to Martin Luther King Day, we won't have a show for you either on Monday, January 17th. Oh no! But don't fret, we'll be back with our regularly scheduled programming on Tuesday, January 18th. And now for today, and the rest of the week, in Titan Athletics. Starting out first, the girls' basketball team competes against Woodson today with the <coughs> freshman game at 4.30, JV game at 5.45, and varsity game at 7.15. Sticking with basketball, the boys' teams will also battle Woodson with the freshman game at 4.30, JV at 5.45, and varsity at 7.15. Moving on to Friday, the boys' basketball team competes again, this time against South County, with the same schedule of the freshman game at 4.30, JV at 5.45, and varsity at 7.15. Also, the ACHS swim team goes against Woodson at Oakmar at 8 or 6 p.m. Finally, on Saturday, the indoor track team runs at Episcopal at 7 a.m. The debate team has an all-day competition over in Richmond. The swim team battles Fairfax at Oakmar at 2.30 p.m. And finally, the boys basketball team competes once again, this time against Lake Braddock, with the freshman game at 12 p.m., JV at 1.30, and varsity at 3. As previously mentioned, Monday, January 16th, will be on Martin Luther King Day. On this day, people from different organizations volunteer their time to be of service to their community, a legacy that Dr. King embodied. Let's celebrate the day as it should be, a day on instead of a day off. And now for today's package, this time being the new episode of Hora. Let's learn a new Dari phrase with Josai and Zara. Hello Alexandria City High School, this is Josai Rasuli and here we are back with the HORA, our bi-monthly segment. This is our fourth episode and first show of this year. Hi everyone, this is Zahra Rahimi. Our last episode, we held a special show. Now we are back to normal. 
Hey Zahra, where have you been? Long time no see. Hi, so I had a bunch of meetings and clubs, and I'm also working on my novel thing. Do you want me to go into detail? Oh, no, please. Your schedule is driving me crazy. It's so frustrating, girl. How you can be this much busy? Well, you know me, nothing new. I have a finger in every pie. Well, I know that, but I feel like you don't know what people call such a person in diary language. Wait, there's such a phrase in diary too? There is. We call it magasahadur. So having a finger in every pie will be magasahadur in diary. Wait, magas means fly, the insect. Does that mean I'm a fly now? No, no, let's change the topic. I think I might go on a 40 vacation after knowing this. And you should also come with me. By the way, I'm going to cancel all my meetings. Hmm, 40 vacation. It's not a bad idea. Anyway, I guess we're pretty much done with today's show and today's lesson for her. Hmm, to don't be a magasa hard dog. By the way, you made me to rethink something. You're my fly pie from now on, not my moon pie. Oh no. That's it for today's Hora. This is Zahra Rahimi. And I'm Hosai Rasul. Thank you for watching and don't have a finger in every pie. Thank you to Hosai and Zara for imparting us with that little piece of darn knowledge. Look forward to the next episode in expanding your multilingual vocabulary. Wow, what a show. What a show indeed. So, you got any famous Ben Del Negro one-liners for me? My stomach's been craving a joke lately. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, what do you call a mobster who's been buried in concrete? I don't know. A hardened criminal? Eh? No? Nah, it didn't really do anything for me. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, okay, two cannibals are eating a clown. One of them says, this tastes a little funny. <laughs> that's, eh? yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. That's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> two two clowns. Okay. Clown. <laughs> it's not that funny. It's, uh, oh boy, great. Now the lights are off again. Ben, is that you? Oh. <laughs> she said there's a snake behind you. <laughs> Why'd you believe her? I don't know, just trust her. I think that's the one. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, like a... Like in between medium and well done. Yeah. You know? I like feel a, that. a medium yeah. well. Medium well concept. Medium well concept. Breakfast cereal. It's like. I'm cuckoo for cocoa puffs. It, I uh, swear to God, Ben. I, I looked it up. It was. It's cuckoo for cocoa puffs. And it was an orange bird. It wasn't in a courtroom, though. It was in a lobby room with an elevator. I looked it up. With an elevator? Yeah. Well, why elevator. didn't you say so? Uh, it goes in, in, in an elevator. Well. Somebody's in a bad mood, am I right? All right, are we doing prompter? Yep. Okay. <laughs> RJ, let's practice lighting, timing, timing, lighting.